Hello, and welcome to episode 5 of this wonderful, beautiful podcast that we don't know what to call yet still. I'm joined here by my wonderful co-worker and wonderful friend, Caitlin. Hey. <laughs> Have you ever been on a podcast before, Caitlin? No. Okay, same with your husband, Garrett. <laughs> My man. He, legit, I introduced him and he sat there for like three minutes and just didn't say anything. And I'm I believe like, it. I believe it. I'm like, you're supposed to say things, say hi. Garrett. Like, say hello. Anything would suffice he's, at this point. He's a shy boy. He is a shy boy. He didn't know what to do. Love about. you. <laughs> when you hear this. When you hear this. All good things. All good things. All, all the good things. Uh, so basically... Uh, we have interesting things to talk about. Uh, Kaylin asked some of her friends, instead of me doing it, because she did the work for me, because she was actually excited to film with me. Uh, half of them are personal things about her. I don't care about that. I'm busy. <laughs> there was one personal question. <laughs> I'm busy recording important questions. So what's an important question on your list? Um... Or an interesting one, at least. <laughs> can I roast Kelsey? <laughs> oh, sure. We'll start with that one. <laughs> one of the questions is, can I roast right. Kelsey? Would you like to okay. who, say who Kelsey so, is? Yes. Kelsey is my little sister. I'm not going to call, call her what she really is, but <laughs> she is my little sister, and she actually asked me to roast her. So, her ro- <laughs> Her roast is going to be... She wants to become a fish. <laughs> no, I forgot about this. <laughs> she really wants to prove to our friend group to that she's going to be a fish. One day. And, you know, she's going to be able to breathe underwater without the gills. <laughs> or a snorkel. 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 <laughs> snorkel. Snorkel. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's Kelsey. That's Kelsey. <laughs> Her nickname's Fish now. Yeah, we spent at least five minutes <laughs> explaining the same exact scientific thing in different ways. It was it was very funny. Very and I'm funny. like, well, there's no other way to explain she this. Doesn't and under- you yeah. still want to be a fish? You know, everybody, everybody's trying to tell her that, like, the gills, you know, suck in the water to produce, produce, I can't talk, <laughs> produce oxygen and hydrogen. Yeah. She don't know what that is. I mean, she knows oxygen because she breathes it in, but she's lucky she knows what hydrogen is. Yeah, it's not that hard. The gills breathe it in, mm-hmm. and they can't breathe in hydrogen. So, so the bubbles are just... So the, uh, yeah, I had like to explain a, to her that the gills breathe in the water, and the they oxygen. produce the bob- bubbles. Oh my god, the <laughs> bubbles. The bubbles! <laughs> I love the bubbles when they come out of the fish and oh go, Oh my Boop. god, yeah. So, Kelsey, love you, but you're yeah, a fish. Yeah, you're, you're a fish. <laughs> uh, you will never be on this show. You are denied. <laughs> Sorry, not sorry. (laughs) Sorry, not sorry. (laughs) We were going to do a three-person podcast with her, even though she is right in the car next to me. (laughs) I said no. Also, I forgot to welcome you back to the car. Two episodes in a row. (laughs) Uh, We will eventually get out of this wonderful recording space. It actually sounds pretty good. I do like it. So, uh, hopefully we'll be able to film in a nice area pretty soon. And not in a car, unless you like the noises of the car. It's very nice. Any other questions we today? We can do favorite musical artists or bands can or we just do musicals? musicals. Perfect. Okay. You start. Muse. Oh gosh. I okay. Have to think. You're, I know. You're in drama. I am in drama. I know a lot of stuff about musicals, um, and a lot of musicals, but I really don't know which one's my favorite. The f- my favorite that I've been in is probably Curtains. A murder mystery thing. That would be so fun to watch. It was really I've never fun. Heard of it. My sad thing is, is that they took away the swears that were really fun. <laughs> so we just kind of, during the performances, when the audio that we listened to during the dance recitals, oh, we just cool. screamed over the swears. Because <laughs> we are like, we like rocked out to the songs and we're like mimicking the words and miming them, and then like the swear word shut up and we all just, ah! <laughs> we just screamed. It was. Very good. I did enjoy oh, it. Garrett left. Oh, your husband left. He's actually like left. Well, he left you. No, not like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'd kill him. You would probably. You would find him. Be like, excuse me. He's just right up the hill. You what are you doing? <laughs> anyway, so I, the ones my favorite I've been in, I would have to say to go goes to curtain. Curtains. Would it? Would you say your favorite musical is? 
now that you have time to think. It's typical. I don't but care. I love Grease. That was also a show I was in. Mm, Grease is so cool. Did you not so cool. go see it? I don't think I met you before I did Grease. Uh, oh, I haven't so been to any of sad. your uh, schools. Please. I was Eugene in that show. Okay. So, <laughs> can you read redo that play? <laughs> uh, no, because we've already done it. We're doing a terrible, terrible musical. Uh, Children of Eden. You take That is so bad. You take the they, Bible and they you did sing. That. They, yeah, they did it. I think they did that one. Uh, oh, no, I... they did, um... <laughs> oh, what's it called? Maybe it was the Children of Eden. It's they did something really with Adam and Eve and then yeah. Jesus and whatever. Basically, I was going to be an ensemble, and then I backed out because I didn't think it would be a fun musical for ensemble. Because really, all there What's is that? is... Ensemble is the people in the background. People that don't, go, don't get names. Oh, so you're, like, an extra. Yeah, basically. Okay. I didn't want to be an ensemble because it didn't seem fun for the show because mm-hmm. you just kind of wore an animal you were turned into a furry <laughs> god could like, have been a fish no hey kels <laughs> god's like sheep and then like the sheep walk on stage is like animals that have never been heard before but here they are alive and we're like nah. so i joined prop crew instead because it seems all the crews seem to have a blast during this show Prop crew gets to mess with, like, 3D stuff, like 3D printers, because we're going to make a glowing apple and stuff. Um, Lights and sound has to deal with a fiber optic curtain when he creates space. And then that's really it. Costume crew gets to make everyone furries, and same with makeup crew, so they get to do all of that. So the crew seems more interesting than actually being in the musical. I would agree. Because someone that is in it said it is not fun for anyone, and I would believe that because... I don't think it would be fun for anyone anyway. We legit, they like keep it a secret until like the night after the play. So we're all sitting in the room just going like, please don't be children of Eden. Please don't be children of Eden. <laughs> and then they like reveal a thing that basically says like Noah's Ark. And we're like, no! <laughs> Gosh what if it, darn. What if it was just like Noah's Ark? I, I don't even know if that's a musical. It probably isn't. But There's, like, a good musical. Just, like, I think it's called, it. like, Winter's Garden or something. It's actually really good. Like, the first few pictures they showed was, like, of a garden. I'm like, oh, my God, please Ooh. be a garden. It would be so much better than what we're doing now. It's so bad. Ooh. It's not, like, a real musical, but Wet Side Story. West Side Story is no, a musical. No, not West. Wet. What is... Okay, hang on. So, okay. Do For a... all my Disney fans out there... If you've seen Teen Beach Movie oh, no. with Ross Lynch and no. Maya Mitchell, how they have, you know, their West Side Story is called Wet Side Story. And it's about a surfer gang I forgot that was a movie. and the biker. Oh, how could you forget that? I really forgot that I was a movie. I think it's because I'm, 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 like, obsessed with Ross I Lynch. I remember but, that being on, like, oh, the first the first movie so everyone good. loved just because it had, like, the beachy mm-hmm. theme. And then they basically, like, here... We're gonna go into the 70s, and we're like, okay, cool. I was saying, I was like, and like for that generation too, I was like, (gasps) it's basically, (laughs) I want to say it's basically Grease and West Side Story. Yeah, it literally, it is, it exactly, it's It's exactly that. It's not very good. Anyway, West Side Story is good, not Wet West Side Story. Okay, but Wet Side Story, I loved it, only because it's Ross Lynch, and like, cruising for a bruising? Oh my god. That's just a Grease song. Love that. Anyway. What's your most hated musical? Stomp. <laughs> Stomp's not that good. I would have to say I'm uh, I- Rent. I'm iffy with Rent. I would say Rent. I had to sing a song in chorus, it's, or my music class, just, or something like that for a project. All of it is singing. Rent it, is just yeah. singing. It's not very interesting. I like a lot of, like, show. My most hated modern? Uh, Cats 2019. I've never seen it, but Cats okay. is, like, weird. Cats Alone. In general, is weird. Hang on. Cats Alone, the musical, is really... Okay, it's good. I would watch it again. But here's the thing. The reason it's so good Academy. is because of the makeup. They're make- they do they have They do great, fantastic yeah. makeup. Yeah. So, I watched the entire, like, 1980 version that is also mm-hmm. a movie. It was Macavity, a stage movie. Yeah. Um, I remember it. I had to watch it. Yeah, and the cavity was spooky. 
He was scary. I don't he understand. was the cat that was not there. I don't understand his design. <laughs> it was weird. The magical Mr. Mistopheles. Okay, everyone wants to like date <laughs> oh Mr. Mistopheles and like. I mean, why? I wouldn't. He's his, an animal. His face is like. <laughs> he has like the perfect whiskers. I guess. Anyway, so <laughs> Cats, the 1980 movie version, is actually really good. Yeah. Uh, my favorite two are Rumpel Teaser and the other one. What's the other one called? I like the Wiz. <sighs> What's the other one? It's Rumple Teaser and Mungo Jerry. There it is. Rumple Teaser and Mungo Jerry. I've never heard of any of The those. two ginger cats that are sneaky and Oh, around. we're still talking about cats. Yes, I thought, we're you, still were, I thought cats. you were talking about a whole nother musical. No. <laughs> we're still talking about cats. The two ginger cats that are sneaky and stuff. Okay. They were great. I saw it in like uh, seventh grade. They were bad in the musical. Everyone, Everything was bad. They had a main character, which was not in the original musical. It was Victoria. Everyone wanted to date Victoria. Doesn't like, isn't that like Taylor Swift's character? I don't pay attention. No, Taylor Swift is uh, Mistopheles. Not, oh, is she no, really? She's not Mistopheles, but she's like the backup singer for Mistopheles' entering song. Oh, uh, so she's not even like a cat. She's just. She's better. not really a character. She just, she does come down. Dang. It's just like I got more successful cat. In other things. Yeah. Sorry, spoilers, but Taylor Guess Swift musicals comes, is just not for everybody. Taylor Swift comes down on a moon with catnip and just goes <laughs> sleep. <laughs> Uh, it's it's weird. It's a weird show. You're so focused on a, on how some of them are wearing shoes and then some are not, and then you feel and then you're like, wait a minute, what do the feet look like? And then you realize they're human feet, and you want to throw up. <laughs> Skimble Shanks is good. The railroad train cat man thing. He's good, <laughs> good, good song. They have a tap dance number in there. Uh, the Wiz is okay. I like. The I watched movies. The Wiz. I'm like, what oh. fever dream did I just get into right now? Okay. Trash land. <laughs> choo choo. Okay, but like, Wicked. Okay, Wicked. I have seen like so many times. It's starting to get a wee bit overrated for Daddy. me. But I, everyone's like, mm, yeah, me. <laughs> me. I'm okay with the song. Just everyone so many times. I like, think it's mm, too hyped up. It's too hyped it's, up. I would say know. it's a good show and make it a movie. Yes. Oh, I would. I'd watch it. I would definitely watch it. I would buy that stuff. But like they need, I, they need to bring like the actual like characters like Idina Menzel. Mm-hmm. She really needs to be the witch. Yeah. Like if they're really gonna make a movie, they need to keep. Like Minnesota. they need to have a good strong cast. Yes. And like. Uh huh. But here's my problem with musical movies is that sometimes they like to wibble wobble the script a bit. If they don't wibbly wobbly the script that much, it would still be a good show. Yeah. But like explaining a few other things that the musical does not explain on will also be would also suffice. However, sometimes usually some things are lost in the transition and then don't have an explanation at all. Like cats. <laughs> I legit missed like the first two minutes or minute of the movie and I was so confused when I walked into the theater. I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> Why are they all on the ground and doing that motion? What is that? Stop. It was very not... It was not okay for me. I did not like it. It was very weird. But the real question. High school musical. Out of all three, which one? Like, rate them. What? Like, rate... Rate them? Rate them. So, like, from best to worst. I would... Which one's with... Sharpay's the second one, right? When Sharpay's like the major enemy. I mean, like she's like in all three. I know she's in all three. But in the second one, that's like when it's like summer vacation. That one. So like fabulous. Two is my favorite. Okay, that's fair. Because I only care about Sharpay out of the entire movie. Okay. She is valid. She is good. Go Sharpay. They did make a spinoff movie of her, but it wasn't very good. Yeah, Um, I I agree. Then I would have to say probably the third one is last. Last. (laughs) Like three last? You don't like it? I would say two, one, three. Really? Yeah. Ooh. Like the first one was really annoying because it like. It, again, it too, got too hyped. It was too hyped, and then I feel like the third one was just kind of like I get it. Mm-hmm. Nothing like the like summer vacation. See, I liked I liked the third one. Why do you like the third one? Um, I don't know. I liked it a lot because of like the like the how they graduated, and like like the whole graduation scene and like the end. Where they're doing like their last musical, and like they're all standing there, and like they're on the stage, and like their caps and gowns, and they were all like talking about like they introduced everybody and like what they're doing, where they're going to school, and I was like, wow, they're growing up, and now there's not going to be guess, another movie because you traveled with their uh, journey. Yeah. But yet now on Disney Plus, there's High School Musical the musical the series. The series. I actually know 
the one kid that's in it. What? Yeah. Okay. This one kid. Okay. He goes to um a school around a, a us. A school. <laughs> he, or he went to he like an allocation graduated. near here. Um. Yeah. He went to a school around us. I just don't like the title of High School Musical the show, Musical the series. Just saying. Better title. There's a really weird moment when one dude was playing the piano and the other dude's just like, hey, what are you doing Saturday? And he's like, uh, Saturday's homecoming. And he's like, yeah, you want to go? <laughs> and then the piano boy's like, okay, sure. Tell me what you're wearing and pick me up at seven. I'm like, boy, you have two days to pick a suit and then pick a dinner and reserve it. That's not happening in any <laughs> show. I haven't watched the show besides that one bit because I was so interested in it. Um, apparently season one's over. I don't know how they're making a second season. I really only care about Sharpay. So, uh, good person. Not, I would not say villain at all. I would never say Sharpay is a villain. Now, how come when I look up his name, <laughs> it gives me everybody else of my Instagram followers? So, yeah, he's... I don't know a weird show are you good i haven't seen it yet i haven't seen it kelsey either. watched it okay hi kelsey <laughs> hey fish fish are you ready for the annual question i think we should wrap this up yeah, and do the annual so. question all right unlike garrett i did not tell caitlin the annual question whatsoever during the past few days <gasps> i so, found him oh god <laughs> come on it's that guy is that guy? Yeah. Wow. Do I care? Who does he play in the show? Um. Cool. But yeah, he went to um. A uh, school. Yeah. <laughs> B. <laughs> anyway, and your question, not give her a hint or anything whatsoever. Uh, ready? I'm kind of scared. <laughs> It's just an annual ending question that it has accidentally started because I thought it was funny. Okay. Even though it's a ridiculously stupid question. <laughs> Ready? Are coconuts mammals? What? <laughs> Are coconuts mammals? Isn't that like a fruit? <laughs> Are coconuts mammals? <laughs> um, no? Okay. Why me, would they be a mammal? Let me they give you they my can't evidence. have babies. They fall on the ground and then they form a new tree, making more babies. Is that really how they're, like, formed? I honestly thought that, like, the farmers of, like, the tropical area <laughs> just planted them. Like, they really just fall on the ground and bam, there's a whole new palm tree? Not like, whoosh! Not immediately. No, I get that, but, like, what? Yeah. Okay, then, like, what about, like, a banana? Would that, like... No. No? Just coconuts? They just... Of course. Evolve? Of course. What? Anyway, um... Oh, my God, I'm mind blown. Mammals, uh, produce milk. Coconuts have milk in them. Magic. Um, mammals are hairy. Coconuts have hair. Uh, we already discovered, uh, reproduction... Uh, warm-blooded. They're in tropical areas, so it is warm-blooded. Oh so, therefore, coconuts are mammals. Dude, can I ask Siri? <laughs> oh my god, don't ask Siri, that ruins the discussion. <laughs> I'm actually like... What? <laughs> are you gonna join me on the side of coconuts are mammals? I have to think about that. <laughs> you have to answer now! <laughs> Sure, but yay! <laughs> One point for coconuts or Wait, mammals. Did, did Garrett say no? <laughs> yeah, my sister also said no. Re. Uh, I think it's because I'm dumb. Uh, no, you disagree with me. We're both. We're just intellectuals. <laughs> we're very smart. Coconuts, mammals. Coconuts are mammals. I'm gonna ask Kelsey. <laughs> she's gonna be like, "What's a coconut?" <laughs> like you should know, you're a fish. <laughs> How would she know if she's a fish? She wouldn't know what a coconut is. Fish are in the tropics. It's the ocean. And you think a coconut is going to go in the ocean. I mean... I don't see why not. Oh if it can fall off the tree and then make a whole new tree in the, like, sand, I'm sure it, it could roll all the way into the water. Okay. But what kind of fish is Kelsey? 
I would make her flounder. Like, she actually, like, flounder from The Little Mermaid. <laughs> she is so like him. Such a flounder. <laughs> She's such a flounder. Such a flounder. <laughs> She's going to be like, what's that? What's a flounder? She wouldn't know what a flounder is unless I said it's from The Little Mermaid. Yeah. It's the little yellow and blue creature, Kels. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. So until next time, uh, Anthony signing off with Caitlin. Bye. Good night. Did <laughs> anybody tell you you're cute today? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Put that in the intro. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs>